Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and we're taking a step back in time today and looking at the vintage G1 Brainstorm. Um, the only Brainstorm that I own at the time of this recording. Fingers crossed folks, fingers crossed. Uh, but he was pretty glorious and uh, I really enjoyed him and I still enjoy him. So we're going to take a look at this guy in the latest Gotbot. True review. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Bolton, aka Gotbot. As always, Check me out everywhere. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor. Like, comment, subscribe, share all of that good stuff. Check me out everywhere and have a look through the channel and see what playlists are kicking around that might uh, draw your attention. Who knows what you will find sometimes. Um, I'm going to say it now. I'm sort of dedicating this look at this guy to uh, Em and Joe of uh, the Transformers and Bear podcast. Uh, those guys have been real supporters of me, my work, and the channel. I greatly appreciate it, guys. I really do. Um, if you don't know them, I uh, will put a link to their channel um, in the description and check out the uh, check out the podcast. I tend to uh, listen to it uh, Friday afternoon, Friday evening here, my time, but I believe it goes up Friday mornings, if I'm not mistaken. Who knows? Maybe the day will come when... Uh, We'll all get to have a, a proper chat about the little plastic robots that we all know and love. Cheap plug for you there, guys. Uh, anyway, moving right along into this. Uh, I said that I dedicated to those guys because they have a lot of content that is, you know, really vintage. Uh, vintage Transformers and GoBots and stuff. And, and to be honest with you, I figured this would be something that they would particularly appreciate. Um, so where do we go in to looking at this guy. Well, again, I find it difficult to measure these guys uh, with my standard measures because the fact of the matter is they're the, the standard bearer. They're what everything else is kind of based on. In terms of paint apps for this guy, <clears throat> I think he looks fantastic. He looks like brainstorming. He's brainstorming colors. I'm giving it a 10. Maybe I shouldn't, but that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it a 10. Um, he is a very interesting... Cybertronian plane, I suppose. You'll notice I don't have his guns, although they would have tabbed up under here, all well, up under his nose section. I don't know where they went. Lost to time, I guess. Lost to time. Uh, he came with a bunch of stickers. I love the Autobot symbols on his wings. I think that is absolutely glorious, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, and I think he looks great for what he is. I got him, as I recall, for my 10th birthday. And I can remember opening this guy and being so excited because I finally had a headmaster. For the record, he was the only headmaster that I was going to ever have. I, uh, I, didn't, end up, I didn't end up getting any more, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, where's his head? Inside. Right here, we can take it out. And we're going to move this guy off screen for a few moments. And we're going to focus on his headmaster. Um, this is Ar Arcana. Arcana. Um, what can I say? If you have seen the Generations Voyager version, if you've seen the Titans Return version, I, you've got an idea of what this guy looks like. The paint apps on this guy are way better. Uh, his articulation, uh, you know, the arms go forward and back. They don't even go out to the sides. Uh, however, the legs still bend at the uh, hip and knees and at the knees, they're actually individually articulated. A little bit more articulation in that respect. Um, the head doesn't move. And on the back, of course, you still have a face. Now, this flap was designed to go up over and hide the face in robot mode, which I thought was kind of ingenious, but mine is super loose after all these years. And when I put him in robot mode, that tends to happen. Uh, so I like the idea of it. It was just that it was really, really loose. Uh, that being said, certainly bigger than a modern day Titan Master. This is 
Highbrow's head. Um, but you can see the, the similarity, you can see the reminiscence there. I am sure of it. Taking that out of it. Uh, so, that being said, how does this guy transform? Pretty simple. You fold him over just like you do with the Titan Masters at the hip and at the knees, and you get a head for Brainstorm. Beautiful, beautiful looking head. I absolutely, positively love this head. And I, maybe that's why I was so drawn to Brainstorm. Plus, he was really smart. I always thought that was so cool. Uh, so we're gonna lay that aside for a few moments and we're gonna go right into this guy again. As I recall, this is how he came out of package. Well, you know, except for the head being up in a, a little clear spot and you took that out separately and folded it. Posability, playability. Well, like I said, he's a good Cybertronian jet. When we get into his uh, alt mode, you'll see he actually got pretty good posability for the era that he came out in. So I would give that probably um, probably about an eight, considering when it came out. By today's standards, no, it's it's like a three by today's standards. But for the time it came out, it was pretty good. And transformation, that's what we're down to. So let's pop into it. Of course, being G1, this is pretty easy. You take the front and you bring it all the way behind. That much is easy, it goes up on his back. You put these wings out, and I guess you can kind of fold these wings back too, if you're so inclined, and now he looks like this. He is a torso with all of his wings folded back, and his nose cone is up on his back. Um, so, that being said, we're gonna deal with the legs next. You bend them down like this, and then there are ratchets up here on the hips to take them forward. Now. I, I say that before I do it because listen to my ratchets. After 30 years, you talk about things being made to last and things being made to break. Listen to these hip ratchets. If I can even move them. Do you hear that? I mean, wow, wow. We're gonna take this back a bit because we can't really see all of him. The toes, they flip down from right there and they flip down from right there and the fists just flip out from in underneath and they flip out from in underneath. And really, boom, there you go. You have Brainstorm in his robot mode. Oh wait, we're forgetting a head. We'll bring in his head. Actually, we'll take down this. You see his tech specs right now are all just nothing. It's black. We put the head in and the tech specs come up. And what do you know? We get to see that he has pretty high... I'm not even sure what it is that he has. Uh, high speed and intelligence and his strength is... It's, it's average. It's average. And we close that up. Oh, and this head mask plate thing fell down. I told you that that happens. Um, am I gonna be able to get this to even stay up? I hope so, I hope so. Uh, so, transformation, you know, 10, it's easy. You know, this guy, for the time that he came out, was pretty great, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm gonna give him a solid nine. Um, again, bearing in mind, you know, the line and the time that we're talking about. Articulation, the arms go all the way around really well. They kind of get stopped at the hips there. You know, you take it around and get stopped at the hip. Um, no in and out. We can put his fist out that far, kind of, you know, like this, kind of an elbow bend, sort of, sort of, that's kind of an elbow bend. I'm gonna count it. It can also go back, obviously, for transformation. Uh, the head doesn't go left or right or do anything. Uh, the there's a, 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 a is that a knee? We'll call it a ninety degree knee. It's no worse than Generations uh, Blitzwing's leg with the long calf shin and the little short thigh. Uh, you heard the ratchet, so they can ratchet, you know, all the way out and way back. I just don't want to ratchet it all the way back because it's so incredibly tight. 
Truth is, I should probably try loosening those screws on the side. Uh, and his toes can kind of pivot up and down a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's great, and, you know, just for interest's sake, just because, you know, here he is next to his Titan's Return friend, uh, Hardhead, who I looked at in episode 151, I do believe, 151. Uh, here he is with Highbrow, who I looked at at an episode... Not neither of them want to stand now. Who I looked at in episode 170... Wow. 175. I looked at Highbrow in episode 175. And last but not least, we'll bring in Chrome Dome. Who I took a look at in episode 176. Uh, it's great, but it's not quite right. Because they're not all G1. Or they're not all Titans Return. Oh, how I wish I had an updated brainstorm. And he falls over again. Okay, granted, standing, a eh, bit of a challenge for him, but once you got him, he's pretty good. I'm just being sort of, sort of sloppy and messy with him. Uh, love the guy. Absolutely love him. He was one of my favorite characters. He was one of my favorite uh, Transformers and one of my preferred toys as a kid. And if you're into, you know, vintage, uh, vintage bots like this, he's definitely one that you should have in your collection. No doubt about it. Anyway, that's it for this guy. It was a quick little look back. I hope you, you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the video. Yes.